Hey guys, welcome back to Playwright Java series. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to do the upload. As a test automation engineer, whenever we attend the interview and when the interviewer asks us what are the challenges you have faced in your automation, you are myself working on Selenium. Of course, we will say one of the lame reason that is like uploading files are difficult. Unfortunately, we cannot say that terms of playwright because it's going to be really easy and amazing let me give you two examples for this uh, particular test demo so one thing is like when we have ui like this so if you can if you can see like we have this particular section once i click on this it will of course bring up this particular guy the window pop-up so this is browser pop-up or the window pop-up of course we cannot automate this one but we can we have uh, features to do this okay and second scenario is going to be like this one so of course this is also the same thing but here we have a something like if i go and inspect this particular element uh, probably you can see like we have this input so if there is an input tag uh, definitely we can do like we can use the functions like set input files which is going to make our life more easy but some people say like hey kaushik i don't have the input type uh, equal to file in my uh, ui or you can also say like this is in hidden state so for example if i go and inspect here you can see that this guy doesn't have anything like input within this particular section but definitely there will be something like double slash if i go and search the uh, x path double slash input at type equal to file you can see like it is there but it is uh, not here but it is here okay uh, but this is how your javascript generally works so if you go and search this particular xpath here it will also work okay so if there is a file uploading uh scenario is there in your page on your page that means definitely there will be input type files sometimes it might be hidden or sometimes uh it might not be very direct okay but definitely this xpath you can find on your page i bet you this will be 100 percent there because that is how html works now coming back to our playwright learning learning it's going to be really really easy so first of all if i go and open this url in incognito mode i will get this cache and cookie i guess uh, to accept this one so i'm just going to click on close let's go and inspect this particular guy and here we have a button with close so i can just copy the text and i hope this is not within the frame uh, we'll execute and check that one okay so this is not related to the fine file handling but yeah, uh, just in case if you open this in incognito mode, that is how the automation browsers always aux. So just handle it, okay? So I'm going to say like page dot um, locator, and then I'm going to say like button, and this guy has a text called those, and I'm going to do the click action, okay? Uh, yeah, that's cool. And once we do the click action, there will be something like this guy. So I'm just going to copy. And this is also a text called uh, OK within the span tag. Okay, so I can repeat the same, I guess. So page dot locator. And then I have like span. And then I have like colon has dash text. And then I have this OK. And I'm going to do the click action. Of course, you can go with the XPath or css anything but since it's playwright i think we should get practice to this because these are like really amazing locator finding strategies okay now we'll come back to our regular browser so here i have this one okay so if i go to this lx path of course it's going to give me the css so css also you can see it's same like input type equal to file so x path the equivalent css we have so i'm going to do the send keys uh, so here we have like type but we should not use the type uh, we should use another function called set input files so here you can select we have multiple ways we can have like multiple file upload as well i will show you that in a moment okay now i just want to upload some file so what we'll do um and this is not working because we have to pass this within array and it's not yeah not this so we have to use the curly braces uh, okay or else we can also use like array sas list i guess let's go and see the text 
okay it should be like path dot get i guess yeah let's use this okay so i'm just going to grab this xls file maybe so here i can give like um sample dot excel x x okay let me refresh the project let's see yeah the file is here so it should be uploaded i guess let's go and run this now let's check one more time i mean yeah okay so i didn't click on the close and it didn't click on the because we have like duplicates element so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it like uh dash dash not dash dash the this particular thing and visible equal to true so that means like um if there is any visibility then it will just do the click action okay let's go and run this one more time yeah so you can see like it added the file and here you can see the file name like sample.xls that means of course our code is working fine okay so this is one of the easiest way you can do so if you go to the documentation let me show you that uh, always try to learn from the documentation as well that will as this is very new maybe there might be chances it might change in future so i just want to show you if you go and see here you won't see the documentation for upload but if you go to this like actions then in the right hand side you can see like upload files okay so there are a few things like you can use like new path the array and then you can just just give like path dot get 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 multiple things that should work fine um so how do you know if it's it supports it supports multiple or not for example if you go and uh inspect this particular input tag here you can see like we have a uh attribute called multiple that means it's going to support the uh, multiple file upload but how we are going to confirm that with the help of script in the sense like sense like we cannot use this function directly to find that what we can do is we can use the event listener concept okay so i'm just going to comment it and i'm going to uh, navigate to probably to another application so let's move to this one so i want to show you the uh, event listener way as well I'm going to say like page dot navigate and the URL and then I'm going to say like I'm going to click on this particular guy so let's go and inspect this one so here we have this drag and drop upload as well so I'm going to do the click action okay and when we do the click action of course the event we have to make the event listener so I'm going to say like page dot um, wait for file upload I guess yeah wait for file chooser and within the lambda all the callback we have to set this thing okay so just move it up and this is going to return me the file chooser okay so let's name it like file chooser and then i'm going to say like file chooser dot uh, s multiple so this is going to return me boolean boolean in the sense like uh true in the sense like sense like of course i can do like multiple uploads or else i cannot do okay so i'm just going to print it out and check now uh, before that let me see here of course it has like multiple equal to multiple that means it supports multiple so let's do one thing i'm going to say like uh, file chooser dot and here i'm going to say like set files and you can use multiple things here i'm going to use the file path and here i'm going to say like uh on yeah i'm going to uh, send the same so i'm just going to copy and paste over here okay so let's go right click and run it in both these scenarios of course we cannot see the uh, windows pop up but you know it's going to work for sure okay so here you can see like we got the sample.xls now let me do one more thing i'm going to upload and here you can see like we got the true that means of course we can upload multiple things so I'm going to upload multiple things so I'm going to just copy and paste the same file because I'm running out of file now just kidding I'm lazy to do that and I'm going to make it like second dot xlxs okay so what we can do is we can simply say like uh, path of array and then 
I can give this curly braces, I guess. Uh, we have to use it, import it from file dot and okay, sorry, my bad. Okay, so here uh, you can just give comma and you can give again like paths dot get. And here I'm going to give the scc dot xl xx. Okay. okay, I'm going to run this one more time. Let's see. Okay, so here you can see like we got both the files sample and x and second excel access okay so we got both the files and it's really cool so yeah that's it we have nothing much to learn here it's very simple and if you have watched my selenium videos probably you know we can achieve the same with the help of selenium as well i'll just leave a link and go and check it out that as well and so yeah that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments i'll be happy to reply Hello, boy. Take care.